Alright guys, welcome to another Six Sages Gaming video brought to you by Gamers Gauntlet. We have another dual video for you today. So I'm joined by Chase and Daryl, who are going to be playing in this video today. Uh, Chase is on your right, he's going to be playing the Alice's World deck. Uh, this is the one sprint, a couple of Gluttoneers version. And Daryl will be playing the Dark Alice list that we've made some modifications to. Um, and we added a card which we think absolutely hoses this matchup, so we'll see how good it is today. So if you guys would go ahead and you can use the life app, it'll roll a dice for you. Which Chase should win if it's the it always does that. Alright, so don't use the dice rolling on the life app because whoever whoever's owner of the phone it always wins apparently. It's not even my phone, it's your phone. Well it's pointing toward like if you offer the phone, like it's pointing towards you. That's that side always seems to win. So Chase is going to be on the play. We're going to resolve some mulligans and then get underway. This is one of those times where I wish we had the oversized dice that we could just drop on reflect. Yeah. All right. Good. So I will filter. So Chase is always going to want to be looking for that turn 1 Elvish Priest. It really accelerates the deck and it sets up the insane turn 2 Adam Rolly plays. So nice. Sterile not having anything here is feeling pretty bad about his life choices. <laughs> um, again, I regret nothing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, filter again. So just from a threat level standpoint, uh, Morgiana is definitely your top kill target, uh, especially if you're playing those more mid-range attrition based decks. But Elvish Priest is something that you really got to deal with and can help accelerate their plan, especially if they have an orb in play where they can just quote unquote freely draw extra cards a turn. It's putting it really in their favor. Right, I'm gonna... So, and sorry about the little bit of glare we do have, guys. We uh, improved the lighting a little bit, but not completely yet. We're still working on that. Did you want to tap the Elvish Priest for a will? I was already tapped for the hair. Alright. Do you like outside in the I'll add a green and, and draw a card. Yep. <clears throat> did you feel sorry in this room? I did. Or I should say, did you use it already in this room? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, we were using Vlad before this video. Um, actually, we should have removed a card in response to the horn. Is what we should have done. Okay. No, I'm already sure. Uh, draw for sure. Well, no, I mean like. You I'm just saying, if we're playing perfectly, that would have been the correct play. Actually, I mean that's not too bad. So I have a choice to make. This. This. How many cards do you need? Three cards. Three cards. You are gonna have to talk through your plays because your hand's not really showing up too well. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm trying to decide if I want to do this or do this, and I'm not sure. I feel like maybe this. You guys see what the card is? Oh, uh, it's a spiral of despair or a stoning to death on it is Adam Broly. Like, him having only three cards really makes him want a Spiral of Despair. And I'm at a... I mean, I'm still at full health, and... You know, taking six isn't too bad. And I think I think I want to say this for the like Wyverns that I know he has. So I'm going to go ahead and Spiral of Despair. Discard Wyvern on the piece. 
My last card must be super good. Go ahead. <clears throat> and also that way you're setting it up where you know he used his horn already, so hopefully he's not going to see it again super early, and this allows you to have two targets in his graveyard to activate for Dark Alice's effect, so you can eventually judgment. Or, yeah. You know, my mortal enemy. No, you're a mortal enemy. You got it. Draw. Yeah, I think I have already figured out what I'm doing next. Mike, I already know. I'll filter. Yeah. Slide your hole, play that down a little bit. <clears throat> this way? Yep, towards you. Uh, draw, recover, call stone. That's hope that helped the glare, not really. <laughs> we tried. You're tapped out. Uh, tapped out, no cards in hand. Or win slam the endless slam with an Adam Broly. Alright, we're gonna do this properly again, because we were just talking about this in playtesting. He's gonna do it at the start of his turn, so that his Cheshire Cats and Wind Cats will not stay in field. What do you mean? Because the negative 200, negative 200 will last till the end of turn. So it's relevant oh, to do it at the start yeah, of this game. Right. We, we just talked about this. Okay, go ahead. So, <laughs> Literally so, talked about this yeah, five minutes now ago. Now I'm going to do it. Okay. I'm bad at this game. Mm -hmm. That guy's dead. Yeah. So, and again, the, the important way of doing it this, or the reason to do it this way again, is so we can't set up a Gwyber this turn because Wind Cats and Cheshire Cats yeah. will just, immediately die. Yeah, they'll die. Like, that's the right way to do it. I just put that card in today, so I'm still getting used to it. And even in the practice games, we literally talked about yeah. it. Yeah. Like, we just talked about this 20 minutes ago. I will filter. You got it. But for so those of us that's our deck spotlight, I mean, the main cards that we changed are the Cinderella, which we'll probably see in the next couple of games, and then Endless Knight, which has been really good for basically killing their threat and fogging, you know, or time walking them, really, because they can't set up a Wyber. And when you, when you play with Endless Knight, like, you almost want them to cast a Wyber just so you can Endless Attack Knight. Attack for one. Yeah, you got it. Morgana gets there. Go. 33. And again, this way you're also... Uh, I mean, you could just get super aggressive here. I mean, I could. You have one card in hand? I have one card. I could, I could be aggressive. Be, be aggressive. I'm not going to lie. I would probably just Judgment. I mean... <laughs> judgment kills Morgiana. Like, and I then you've got Art's next turn. I definitely don't have haste. So... Oh, you don't have the Labyrinth in hand? Oh, that's right. We cut it down to one. No! Foiled again! Well, I mean, you can still just name one. Oh, yeah. You have one card in your hand? I have one card in my hand. Yeah, I'm gonna have one. Uh, Exile, like Wyvern, and the Adam Broly. What else do you got in there? Cats and Priests. Uh, I'll take one of the cats. Look at name one. Yep. She's the deadest. Oh, yeah. I love seeing that. That's what you Uh, Go ahead. Uh, drop your turn. Put two counters on. So the reason I made these changes is because I'm tired of losing to Chase when it plays Alice's World. And I think that the Endless Knight is just too good against Alice's world. Like, their best play can get undone for three minutes. And I think that that's, that's pretty good. Yeah, you got it. I'll drop her. Speaking of their best play. Then we'll put there. And again, it's, a, it's important to know we lowered the curve. Um, the other card that we took out was Mephistopheles. And the highest thing in our deck now is a three drop for both Schrodinger's cat and Elizabeth. Uh, I don't know her full name, actually. Elizabeth, the Shadow Princess of Blood. Thank you. I think there's one Carmilla. I put a Carmilla back in here Faster. to be able to do her. Oh, one. yeah. Those cheeky one ofs. Well, can't. hopefully we don't draw it. But I can't live without my Carmilla. Long story short, the rest of our deck is three drops or less. Straight gas, I think. I mean, do I got it? Yeah. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and Godzart. Okay. So I'm going to find a Schrodinger. Is the, what is it, Fallen Black Cat? I think it's what it's called. Mm. I'm doing this because it allows me to swing into his fiber and, like, force him to 
block with the Morgiana. Or take a bunch of damage. Or take a bunch of Well, I'm gonna swing for five. Right? Well, she's only a. Oh, she has target damage, yeah. right? But she doesn't get the plus five, plus five, right? It's only a five card, yeah, so. Yeah, that's right. So yeah. she is only a nine nine, so. I mean, she can't get imperishable, which, I mean, like, swinging with your Dark Alice when you have the cat out, just to have it die and flip back over to be able to judgment again is, I mean, a legitimate play. I, I've done it. And I'm, do it. It's I'm good. down. I'm I'm do, it. do it. Do it. I'm just going to stun you, Daddy Wyvern. Oh. Oh. I can do that too, right? And then target attack. No, I'm going to kill you, Morgan. Uh, I'm going to put a counter on it. Yeah. Take one off. You got it. Take two off the drop here. Mm -hmm. So, Chase is doing this just to try to maximize his turn, get that last filter effect out of Morgiana before she dies. That will pass. So, with the guy art in effect, um, actually, I just realized we should have some kind of token for this in this video. Um, We're working with what we got. Or, yeah. Yeah. Filter. You got it. I think Chase actually plays with 12 more Yamas. I'm not sure, but... <laughs> I mean, I we'll, we'll, we'll deck check him after the I fact. I haven't at the list, but I'm pretty sure there's 12 in here. Like Savage every cheating. I, every time I kill one, like, he's like, oh, more Yama? Yeah, of course. Right. Cut off one head and two appear. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> uh, I'll Cheats put another piece. counter on, then I will draw another card. You got it, dude. <sighs> this is literally the worst. Yep. So, and another reason why we've been we want to do this dual series video is because a lot of people are playing Alice's World. I mean, three topped at our uh, Gamers Gauntlet Stone events. Uh, so it's a very relevant deck, and we want to make a deck that has a chance to just out meta game it, especially if everyone's going to be on all these low drop resonators, Morgiana, Cheshire Cat type decks. I, and I think the thing about this deck too is I just did that backwards. I did that magic style. Is <laughs> it's good? It's not only good against Alice's World. It's good against anything that has creatures in it. I feel like. Uh, we just do this. Your matchup might be a little rougher against say Valentina. Like the Valentina but deck is pretty rough. Yeah. I mean. This deck doesn't see a lot of plays when we're around here. Mm -hmm. I don't have a Morgiana. It's better when you have Morgiana. <laughs> I, that's what I hear. I mean, I don't think this card is doing it. I hear that's an okay card to play. No, I mean, you're... like That's pretty much just a win more card at this point. The Elizabeth, by the way, is what he put back on top. Hmm, I, we want to get rid of the Morgiana. So. It's so hard to do. I know, it's a 1-1 one -one right now. Jeez, I would get rid of a 1-1. One -one. <laughs> I, I mean, know. honestly, play the other cat on your hand and play a thunder. Oh, wait, we're not going to play a thunder. We're going to play a demon flame. I mean, okay. okay. Why not just ramp this turn? I'm going to just ramp this turn. What am I going to ramp into? Uh, so maybe you're Yeah, I'll take that. So um, you'll have two blue sur sources next turn? Um, I mean, sure, save the stoning first wiper. I get maybe. it. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, sure. I will pass my turn. I'm just a greedy player. That's what you want. Yeah. Everyone wants to have all the things. I like to live in. I mean, why have one cat when you can have two cats? I mean, because I I don't want to die to a wiper. That he can just like straight hard cast at this point. Do you care to cut? I do not care to cut. All right. Thank you for asking. Right. Turn. Put a counter. What you don't know is he stacked his deck wall. Right. I stacked my deck. I would not orbs. have drawn what I drew. <laughs> all the orbs, all the Morgiana. Yeah. Sure. That's what we drew it up, boys. Every time. <laughs> Every single time. <laughs> response. I'm going to activate my Grubal Esta and target your Morgiana. Yeah. So I didn't even need to cast a spell. I need to think. I thought about taking a stone out. What was I thinking? Yeah, it turns out the God Art plus shrinking something by 200 more is really good. That lands a lot. And if you got Art plus Group less so plus Thunder, that actually kills Phoenix. Yeah. Nice 3-3. Three, three, you can get your opponent to the point where they're blowing up their own uh, regular. Yeah. Pass. Drop a turn. Mm-hmm. 
recover. See, now you could have just played that cat last turn and used the Yeah, I could have. I could have. I could have lived that life. Then you would have had five full this turn. But I would have been at 40. Boom. What? Next level, two short ears. Okay, you should still a 9 9. Yeah, I'm sure. But I get two mana, bro. You know the mana I have now. And two sources of imperishable. Yeah. Uh, I ain't scared of no Gwyber. I mean, you just go straight greed. Um, blow up on your own damn change of worlds. Yeah, I'll add a counter. Yeah. Oh, that's it, that's the ticket. By the way, for those at home wondering what's in my hand. Swing for, swing for nine. Take nine. Yeah. 22. Yeah, I okay. think. You're up. Job for turn? My hair's bigger than yours, just because you're wondering. <laughs> your what? My hair's bigger than yours. That's neat. My hair is the big sister. Uh, full Metal Alchemist joke goes here. Like, this is another thing I like about this version of the deck. Like, I'm holding a full grip of cards, and he is not. And I feel like any game where that happens, you're favored. Take all the turns, Chase. <laughs> with that 3-3. Three, three. Thinking about it. It's tapped out. <laughs> sure, I'm tapped out. I'll so sell. so much uh, advantage. Yeah! <laughs> Our cast outs. <laughs> We're living that life. Uh, actually, yeah. Well, you just have one open, don't you? Yeah, you should have one open, if it's relevant. There we go. Still, yeah, doesn't matter. You can cast the other guy now. Alright. Actually, if you have the other guy, you just get Take my next turn. Yeah, you got it. You want to attack? No, I'm good. Oh, okay. <laughs> just want you to know you have the option to attack. The uh, will filter. See, that's another position. You go to the Alice world to try and get value out of it just by drawing cards. You're you're in good shape, I think. Uh, Morgana. Oh, nice. What's that, Morgana 12, I think? <laughs> Uh, we'll activate this to, yeah. to uh, draw a card. Yeah. He's pretty good at drawing those, turns out. I mean, we need to see 200 cards again. I mean, approximately 200 cards that you're going to see in a match. Deck, yeah. Uh, cat? Shuffle. Yeah. Look at them plays. Put the garbage on top. Play yeah. the game. Get rid of it. You got it. Draw the same garbage for that. You got it. Cast a Gliber. You got it. Cast yes, Adam, bro. Yep. Ooh, incarnating the Gliber. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Dang. Almost got him. Thought we were going to live that dream for a second. One, two. We got our opponent. <laughs> Incarnate the Gliber. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight if he taps the. Uh oh, no call to come back. You have enough to the house in the yeah, I mean, he can tend you in the air. I mean, he probably filtered away the Alice's world. I mean, yeah, probably. I'm assuming he did. I don't know, sometimes Chase plays like a madman. Confirmed, he, he filtered it away. That was, that was the correct play to do. Judge, outside your opinions. Yeah, well, it's, I, mean, I mean, it's 100% the right thing to do. When you don't have a board that's going to gain advantage off playing an immediate second Alice's world, you're probably filtering it and hope, hoping to see it later when it is relevant. Uh, we'll filter. Let's see if find one here. Look on his face as he did fine. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's just gonna cast approximately infinite number of chest. What's Storm Count at? Storm Count. Storm Count twelve. <laughs> More like incoming Facebook group posts. They mentioned Storm Count. What does that mean in Force of Will? Storm, Storm is, in fact, not a mechanic in Force of Will. I'll just get that out there now. 
Look at all that value I'm getting. I mean, all these gods aren't. I feel like you're doing something, but at the same time, <laughs> like, I feel like you're just wasting oh, time. I'm doing stuff. <laughs> Chase is new tactic. Do things, but not really do things. I mean, when when they mention about you know still making plays, but not losing, I think this might have been what Tavern was talking about. Uh, I will take two. Oh, there we go. Finally, his own life. Got him. Yeah. All right. <laughs> So, 12 no, draws, please. Judge me, because I think 8 stones is enough for me. Yeah, probably. But, so for those that don't know, Tavern Road and Arklon basically, you know, winning game one and trying not to die game two. So, if this was a game two scenario, Chase really needs to find a way to stop that Dark Alice, or at least prevent enough blockers uh, so he's not going to die. The Gwyber might do some work because Daryl, you know, his deck doesn't play any flyers, but at the same time, he has the stonings, he has endless knights. And he has a lot of ways to interact with his opponent's deck. On top of that, since God's out, uh, Alice's God Art is already in effect, if you were to play Endless Knight, it would give negative four, negative four to his entire board. So that'd be enough to kill off the Elvish Priest and the Morgiana. They're just swinging your Gwyber. It's a 9 9, right? It is, in fact, a 9 9. You got it. Well, hold on, I can't block this. Okay, maybe okay. not. You got it. You got it. Block the atom ball. Uh, now we've got to think about how we want to do this. Like, we're going to try to next level chase, but we just don't know how we're going to do it yet. So you have one on that orb. I hate those orbs. Like, they mess up everything that I'm trying to do, and I don't like it. Uh, well, five counters in an untapped orb means he can counter two two drop spells, so. That he can. There's one on that person? Yeah. Um. Sure. Damage. Okay. Okay, we're gonna add a blue. Mm -hmm. We're gonna play a cat. You got it, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Ding! <laughs> <laughs> you got a dude coming. Now it one. Is that like a storm count? Oh, you gotta put one of these back. Yeah, probably cast more things. Put one back. One pair of did I put a pair back? Yeah, you did. Okay, I did. Can't put my deck back. This, this guy. Card. I do, in fact, know what my cards do. How many cards do you have in your hand? All of them. And you don't see me. Can't live with seven. Five, six, seven, eight. Seven at the end of my turn. Mm -hmm. Judge. 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 I'm going to interfere with my thought process. Um, <laughs> Judge, I'm out of here. <laughs> Not that we drink that stuff here. No, we don't drink adult beverages. I'm gonna play a Cinderella. Oh, snap. Alice's World Mortal Enemy. Does it get there? Please consume responsibly. Sure. And then we're gonna play Alora. And we're gonna go look for... So is it 10? Yeah, I mean, I think we're just gonna look for a Carmilla here because... You didn't have the Elizabeth in your hand already, did you? I mean, I do. But I I would have just played Elizabeth this turn, and you're like guaranteed to win the next turn. Jeez, this guy. Everybody criticizing the plays. Well, you, you'll play Elizabeth this turn. Everything has got hurt, so the only thing that can favorably block it is Gwyber and the Adam Roller that you just killed. So you could play Elizabeth, untap. <clears throat> yeah, you can bounce it, understandable. But it forces you to use that instead of tutoring for something relevant like another Gwyber here. Stack my cat, deal 200 damage to your board. Shuffle trigger. Sack my other cat. So that's 400, 600, 800, 1000. Yeah, well, we figured it out. I know that, that doesn't seem like a super great play, but. Yeah, yeah. if you just would have done that, I know, attacked him for I know, I know. But it's still a 10 10, and I still have two ways to get my Alice imperishable, so his Gwyver is. Not the best thing in the world right now. I never thought I'd make this statement, but I don't actually fear the Gwyber at this point. Gotta check my cards. Don't fear actually. the Gwyber. <laughs> I have seven cards. <laughs> Chase just showed his age right there. Next next thing you know, there'll be Go a ahead. cowbell on the background. I got a fever. Who knows, what, Who knows what little James is going to do in post-production? You hear ding, ding, ding. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, James. I'm gonna filter. 
Oh, I have a serious <laughs> game of force of will here, guys. Yeah, dude. Gosh. And, you know, for those at home watching this, if you're actually watching the entire video, um, if you there, off by now. <laughs> there is probably a point where if this was in a tournament match, Chase might have already scooped, knowing that his opponent has is playing a very movable heavy deck, has a full grip, and is staring down cards that really don't do much in this matchup. <laughs> So there is a point to just scooping in this game as the Alice's World player and going into the next game and hopefully getting out of yeah. the uh, getting out of the uh, way of Alice's God Art. I mean, there's even some games where it's gotten to the point where I've done it with this deck. Where, yeah, I mean, if you're already up a game and you know you just feel like the they're like they're catwalling you to death or something, like you're just not getting through. Like, just pick up your cards and start over. Because draws are not good. Draws are basically yeah. losses in Force of Will at larger events. Like, you almost, you never, ever, 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 ever want to draw. I'll open? Never. I'll open? Confirm never. Exactly zero times. Speaking of drawing, it's here's Chase again with his cat. Know me? Acting like you know me. I thought you've cast 18 cats this game. Uh oh, double Gwyver, how do we win? Uh -oh. Go. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> still. <laughs> I do still, in fact. Ooh, that's that's missed. Pretty good. Hmm. hmm. Yeah, yeah the, the no cards he has. Do you want to reflect, you reflect a can counter? I'm going to cast the Carmilla. I mean, you can still bounce oh, okay. those dudes. Enter trigger. Mm hmm. Oh, oh man, he figured it out. <laughs> Watch this. I'm gonna call him <gasps> Oh man. Oh man. Four wins land is something like that. You're lucky that came into play untapped. Why would not come into play untapped? <laughs> He's not playing the Rulers of Memoria version. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, I don't, I don't actually run Rulers of Memoria because. You're done? Yeah. Like, people were talking about, like, using green for this matchup, and I don't think that's the way you beat Alice's World. Like, you don't beat Alice's World by countering Alice's World. You beat Alice's World the way I'm beating Alice's World right now, by making him do that. I mean, it looks like you're drawing against Alice's World by the way I you're mean, playing. I <laughs> mean, one of us would be fine. It's not my fault. I'm I'm playing at an expedient pace. And I mean, you say possible. that, but... This guy. Always criticize. I would have been a, a bit more aggressive in this matchup. I like to, I like to when I, when I, when I like to make uh, make it you know so there's no chance to lose. <laughs> this guy. You did. You are enabling this by not ending this game sooner. You are allowing him to do the Cheshire Cat. Yeah, I think twenty cards in Chase's deck are a combination of Morgana and Cheshire Cat. I just wanted to see what I got off that Morgana. <laughs> savage. Another cat. Absolutely savage. <laughs> Cat? Yeah, you got it. Dun 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 just waiting for Chase to activate my trap card. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you could have won this game several turns ago. Like if I show you my hand, will you just keep playing? Nope. Okay. I mean, if you if you just would if you would have went stoning to kill his blocker in a triple thunder. It's like a. There's like a gnat in your ear right a now. Mosquito around here or something. Me, 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 me. I just want him to show off all those sweet deep wood stones that he has now. Yeah. Jeez. Swing? <laughs> no, I'm good. Oh. <laughs> I will take my next turn, though. Swing for one? I mean, he does still have a quiet guy. That's, that's so... I mean, did, did that next turn do anything for you, though? Did it? It might have. Maybe. No, no. Let him play it out. Jeez. Just a bunch of dudes playing for some more. Okay. No. I'm gonna go make a pizza or something. Yeah, you wanted chips. I mean, this is. <laughs> I mean, now now would be the time to you know go grab a bag of chips. Grab another adult beverage. Only if you're the twenty-one. Incarnate. Yeah. 
You got it. Draw. Sure. Cards in. Two. Two. Yeah, that's my favorite number of cards. Swing with Morgan. Um, I'm actually gonna draw three. Uh oh. We're going three, boys. Oh man. That's one more than I like in the head. All the Guayers incoming. How many counters are on that guy? Is that a zero? Is he gonna have. Oh my gosh. It's never good when he counts mana. <laughs> Is this eight? I think that's eight. I might as well call the last stone. There we go. <laughs> we got there. Uh, yeah, this like first, this, okay. this yeah. we'll shuffle. Oh boy. Then Alice's World is the last card. Then Alice's World. Woo! We're leaving for that 10 damage, boys and girls. All right. Chase finally attacking after 10 turns or so of playing with Cheshire Cat. I mean, Cosmo's probably right. This game probably should be over. But this is the first time that I've... Put serious testing. I'm gonna laugh if you lose this game. I mean, I, <laughs> I will I, too because he, I'm gonna quit Force of Will. I mean, you only have three Alice's Worlds in the deck. I know right, it's in the deck. Uh. If you like, text me and put like send back in there. I like, I deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> send back target yeah, Alice's Worlds. No. All right, uh, cat. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you're trying to draw. At this point. It's the send back. It doesn't matter. Spoiler alert, there is no send back. I mean, he could have changed it right before this video. I wouldn't put it past him. And we're looking at uh, thirty, about 30 minutes into the round at this point. Yeah, you got Ten me. Years. You got it. <laughs> that was the big finish. Cherish finally does something and then proceeds to concede this match. Can I just thumb you through Uh oh. We got another one. Holy oh, cow. One counter. How do we win? I mean, it's technically. He can still tap the orb and make it up to two, so he can counter your stoning. Oh, darn. Uh, at, at this point, I have 12 in my hand. I don't actually Well, I mean, with seven cards, it's a little hard to do. What do you at? Wait, you're saying seven isn't 12? Oh, crap. I'm at 20. The math checks out. Seven is not 12. So. I'll play cat. Holy uh, wow, it just... Uh oh, there it is. <laughs> so. <laughs> I'm dragging this up. <laughs> Daryl is, is clearly playing and to the point where. So, wait, that's your boy. Just like just let it happen. Yeah. All right. So if oh, Daryl would have right. went to combat first and just starting to death the blocker, this game would be over. But Daryl likes to drag Swing. out this game and oh. put me on life tilt. Starting to death the block. Jeez. Yeah. You deserve this. Okay. Uh, Swing you for eight. Yeah. I'm at twelve. I might just lose this game. <laughs> I, may have, I may have forced her on too much. Uh, you don't have any more Alice's World. I don't know no, why you're you, 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 you have this game because he doesn't have another Alice's World, so... I'm going to thunder you. I'm damn it, seven. So. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Like, I'm just going to So, I apologize that. to those at home for Daryl who's just playing I'm, with himself this entire match when I'm it should have been I'm, over approximately ten minutes ago. This is, see, this, this is ridicule I have to okay. So, if you're actually watching this and you've watched all of this up to this point, Neat. I apologize. Like, filter. <laughs> actually, no, I'm going to plus... Oh, oh, snap. oh, oh boy! Counter on him. Then I'm gonna draw a card. Yeah. I'm gonna take a nap. You might just be dead here. I don't know, man. It's getting close. Are you gonna sprint me? Maybe. <laughs> I forgot. No, that cat dies. Yeah. Cat's oh, dead. Judge. Oh, sorry. Judge. That's a game loss. Second warning. Well, technically, what would happen warning. is because oh, you, know, okay. you can stack them how you want. You would treat it as the player automatically chose to draw the cards before the. Shuffle effect happens, Oh, yeah, I feel like we talked about that months ago. Ooh. Yep. I don't know which card was in your hand. I, mean, I do. That's I'm weird. I'm going to Patrick Shaven you. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but okay. Remember the last brochure? No. Okay, we'll talk about that. <laughs> I'm not Sorry sure. that I keep hitting the camera, though. As well. I'm not sure everyone who was watching this video cares about the last brochure. Uh, no, they don't. They just care about the Eldrazi Overlords. Wait, what? I, I for one, do not love tomorrow. I'll just Overlords. <laughs> Please do not get me started on that. For the sake of diversity, we have banned Splinter Twin. Next really? Pro Tour, six of the top eight, the same deck. Alright, but for the sake of Force of Will channel, sure. we should uh, stick to... Yeah. Attack Carmilla. Oh, you got it. <laughs> you good? Judgment. <laughs> judgment with no counters, wow. ladies and gentlemen. Judgment with no counters. 
<sighs> My regalia are all now dead. Can we please just... Thunder you. Pretty sure I just thunder you again. All right, you All right finally. All right, there you go, guys. Sorry for the unnecessary 33 minute, 34 minute match at this point. I think hey, is what it was. Now we have 16 minutes to play right, the yeah. game too. All right, See, now, so Daryl, now, now the game, now this round 100 percent favors me. So we're gonna cut the video real quick. I'm gonna try to move the camera to help the glare issue a little bit. So we're sorry for the awkward cut, but we're gonna get this into the next match real quick for you guys, and they're gonna sideboard some cards. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit that like button and leave us a comment with what you thought of the video. Don't forget to subscribe to Six Age Gaming and check out some of the deck spotlights, dual series, and Force of Community videos that are already on the channel. We also have a Facebook and a Twitter, so feel free to find us there. Lastly, if you have a deck that you would like featured in a video, be sure to drop us a comment below. Until next time, take it easy.